why U-Haul is going to go out of business soon. Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and I predict that U-Haul will be going out of business very, very soon. Can I tell you a story? I went online to install a hitch on my Nissan Leaf, which is an electrical car. By the way, it was a great investment, great car. Thank you, Nissan, um, on U-Haul's website. And thank you, U-Haul's website, because I put in there my car, I put in there you know, what it is, and it told me what hitch I needed. And instantly I, I pulled out my, I, don't, I believe my debit card, and you know, put my information in there. Next, U-Haul's website asked me, what date do you, do you want to go to have this hitch installed, okay? And it was about like a five or seven day delay. I can't remember the top of my head, but it was almost like a week delay for the product to come in from wherever they had to get it shipped to and get it installed. So I, I picked, you know, let's say the 24th. They said, do you want to leave your car there or, or do you want to wait for it? I answered and once it confirmed, they asked for my money, which is almost $300, okay? Uh, 286 bucks. Anyways, I placed the order and gave them 300 bucks. Um, and then no one called. I didn't get an email confirmation from their website or anything like that. I ended up calling them. It was on the weekend, like a Saturday. I called them on Monday. They said, yeah, we got your information. Um, but right off the bat, when I called them, it was a hell of a one knew my information was. I called the agent. So it was very disorganized right off the bat, uh, which kind of made my heart go boom, boom, because we, me and my family were planning a trip to put the hitch, get our bikes and go. Anyways, on the day of installation, I took off time from work uh, in a sense because uh, I make videos for you guys and we were working on the other day related, uh, to go get the hitch installed. And before I left, I called them early in the morning and said, hey buddy, you know, I just want to confirm that the hitch is there if I drive all the way out there. And the lady didn't know what was going on, the first person, they supposedly give it to their manager. And the guy's manager name was, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, they were in, in the Carrollton location, uh, not, I'm sorry, in the Dallas location. Uh, it doesn't even matter. And what, what happened was that the guy had a bunch of excuses, okay, why they didn't have the part. And the excuses were all about me, like you would blame me for it. Like, hey, well, you, you placed the order online and you didn't give us a call. Hey, they said on a Saturday versus on a Monday, whatever, right? And the truth of the fact was that I was one of the easiest customers they had. I went online, I searched what I wanted, the, their website did their job, I put my money in there, they took my money, six, seven days later, uh, when I went there, they didn't have the goods that they promised they were gonna have for me, and in return, they were blaming me for their own incompetence, for their own negligence, guys. Uh, the manager was, and very unprofessional. Uh, and, and I thought to myself, dude, he was telling me all these excuses that, you know, why they wouldn't drop the ball, but they're reflecting it back to me, saying it was my fault, like I ordered up the can, I ordered it online, I didn't call them, and I'm like, hey, the website knows, you know, what kind of vehicle I have, what kind of hitch it is, and basically, Someone at your office didn't order it on time. Now you want me to come back another week. I already took the time off of work. And the the manager was like, basically, I, I don't want to be rude. Um, because he definitely didn't know how to use a computer. You know, the, the, they didn't understand anything about customer service. And this worked really good in the 90s and the 80s, you know. But in this era, it doesn't work because because of this situation, um, and then I, you know, I called the corporate office, I called everyone I could, but no one could even help me out. It was just a chaos. The corporate didn't know, no one cared. Okay, no one really cared. They, they took my 300, no one cared uh, at all. And finally, I, I told them, you know what, please just give my money back. And it was a great blessing because I went online to Amazon.com and I ordered the same exact hitch that U-Haul was gonna ship to me um, for $150 less. So listen to what I'm saying. By then, 
I went online, I give them my money. By them not being able to catch the ball, I was the easiest customer out there. Never called, I didn't use their resources for playing an employee. I just used their website and I paid them direct. And they couldn't just deliver. I went on Amazon, the same exact hitch. I was able to buy for $150 savings, okay? And then the installation, I'm gonna call the local hitch place and they said like 50 bucks. by them not being able to catch the ball. Now, I wasn't a paying customer, a paying customer at all, I was a pain in the butt, okay? I just went online, it was late at night, I placed it on the car, I was trying to find it, and all they had to do was just flip it, and they could leave it, okay? And the problem is that when we live in the area of Amazon, you can get the same exact thing you can get from the U-Haul order from Amazon for a lot less, but I didn't want to go that route because trust you all for the professional and really they were the nightmare. Um, they didn't know how to take orders online. They took your money part perfectly, okay? But after that they couldn't ex execute anything. They, everyone I called was incompetent in the sense that they didn't care. They were, they were okay with their business you know, dropping the ball. So it, was a, it was a normal uh, culture at you all okay? And then I started looking at the reviews and I saw that all stuff that's going on like man and then I realized how great Amazon was because I went on Amazon perfect reviews I send it to ship that I paid them they send the shit you know and it's here is less time than it took for U-Haul to get to me um, no stress at all guys those people at U-Haul everyone I called just made you made me feel incompetent because I paid them my money they made me feel like they were doing me a favor because they ordered me a hitch. They, they made me feel like they were doing me a favor because I was giving them my money. And and I realized that, hey man, I, I, I'm gonna save over 200 bucks by not using their services. And it was a great lesson because I know in the future, these guys are gonna get go bankrupt because you know why would you order a hitch from U-Haul when it's gonna cost you over $150 extra? And, and it's okay to, to pay them for the extra $150 actually care for you for your customer and pick up the phone and order the product so they take your money and they can deliver and, and it's totally normal for them because they work in a moving industry and I've owned a moving industry for 14 15 years and I it is such a bad industry people deliver overestimate and under deliver and it just becomes a norm and becomes a culture at U-Haul like everyone I talked to didn't care that the guy didn't order the parts correctly didn't care that the guy was rude to me or any of that stuff right and yes I, I was upset by by the end of the call because when I ordered my stuff there was no email confirmation that you know they got it the only reason I had even an order number is because I took a screenshot of the order like I always do for my own practice business practices to be on the safe side but if I didn't do that no one could pull me up with my phone number with my name you know because the order I put it online it was a total disaster when it came to the real world because they have people that are maybe only have high school educations maybe are computer illiterate they don't understand computers and at one time you haul ruled the industry they, they were the king so, so they could be like the, the iron fist they could be the dictator to rule and and me and you had to bow down to them, right? But today, uh, there's so much more competition and by using other options out there, I'm never gonna ever use U-Haul. I've never used U-Haul like just for hitch installation. I've used them multiple times. And the last two or three times I used, it just seems it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I see them being the next Toys R Us, guys. I see them being the next Radio Shack. I see them being the next uh, Ford where they don't produce
believe in the risk, put your information in there and hope that they deliver because that's what good companies do. At the very least, they deliver what they sold you. Okay, and these companies was not able to even deliver after taking my money without any friction of booking. I booked by myself, did everything by myself. Uh, so the website was excellent, but the delivery side, the, the hands-on aspect, the management, the, the people, the way they cared about their customers, they're still living in the era of the 80s and 70s or whatever, the 90s where U-Haul was king and there was no competition. But again, now you can order the same exact kitchen on Amazon and save yourself 150 bucks. Same exact hitch, guys, okay? I was gonna pay them so much more money. Uh, and they give you the order quickly, they deliver quickly, they have great customer service versus a company that, you know, is really big and doesn't give a shit about you guys. So I, I foresee in the next 10 years, uh, you all will be going out of business, guys. And if, if I was a betting man, I would bet, it, I would bet against them. And that's just what I think. And one of the great things that I learned from this experience with U-Haul is how I treat you guys, guys. I mean, I really have love for every one of you guys that watch me, guys. I really do, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm Mr. No Fluff because I, I'm not here to sell you. So I have to tr treat you guys with, you know, firm, without the BS because I don't want to sell you. I don't want to take your money and you guys not be able to reach your goals. What I want is to help you when I take your money, take your investment, and have you have success. Because if you don't have success, I don't have success, right? But this, this situation taught me that, man, I need to go up above and beyond the extra mile. Because I always go the extra mile, and that's why we have the kind of reviews we have. But I need to even go more because, you know, I want to not be you, Paul. I want to be the Amazon and okay? And we live in an era of technology where we don't have to drive to the REI club anymore. We don't have to go to all these expos and summits and all these BS sales pitches. And we could, I can help you guys right from the comfort of the park, right at the comfort of my home, right at the comfort of me walking a mountain, whatever it is, and reach out to you and reach out to your soul and change you. And so, uh, and the way this U-Haul experience changed me is like, I'm gonna go even extra above for you guys because you guys matter so much to me. Without you guys, I wouldn't even be here. Uh, the guys that watch, the guys that stick your hand in your wallet and support me, you guys have more value to me than 99% of my family members or my friends because they don't even support me. And so you guys are better than my family members, better than my friends because you guys are willing to stick your hard earned money and support me and I don't want to let you down. I want you to give me this. I not only do I want to give you what you paid for, I want to give you more, but now I want to give you more than what, the extra, what you paid for, more than the extra mile. I want to even give you more. I want to help you get what you want to go through and that's my only mission in life because if I know, if I help you get what you want to go to, I don't have to worry about me. Everything's going to come to me, guys, and, and, and that's the key, dude. And uh, CEO of u -Haul, if you're watching this, I can help your business uh, transform this because I can automate your business for you when you take these orders, how to, how to get it to your workers, help you get a better culture of people, help you get more uh, computer iterate people, uh, and definitely change the business because your reviews online really suck. Your service really, is really, really bad because I paid you all this money. I didn't even talk to the sales guy. I was the easiest customer ever and you guys dropped the ball. I feel bad for everyone else that wants to use your storage facility or your trucks and how you would treat them uh, because they're at a much more vulnerable situation versus me where I didn't need a hitch. Even though I was going to go on a trip and for me and my kid, you guys spoiled it. Uh, however, it wasn't even in like that kind of big emergency like someone that needs to move or someone that has a storage and you guys got to care, man. You got to be in the caring business because we're the ones that support you and pay for you guys' paychecks and eventually it's gonna, you guys going to understand and I forecast that you guys are going to go out of business soon. I hope not, but the way technology is working, the way that other competitors are coming around where you're dealing with Amazons and other people like that, um, the chance of you guys surviving with this kind of uh, dropping the ball with negativity is going to help you guys do business. So I forecast you guys are going to be going out of business in the next 10, 15 years, you all. Thank you so much.